Hey guys, welcome back. It is that time, Madrid Open draw preview time. The draw just came in from Madrid and it's a Djokovic less draw, which means Senna is the top seed. And you know what? Even though Alcaraz is the two-time defending champion, it really is open for anyone to win, let's be honest. Starting off the draw, we have Yannick Sinna, who may face Sonigo, his Davis Cup teammate. In the second round, he will be facing a qualifier. We have Jordan Thompson facing either a qualifier or Pavel Kotov, who is an up-and-coming player regardless but a potential Sinner versus Thompson matchup in the third round lower down we got Tabilio and Kaboli the winner will play against Nicholas Jarry Gallon will play a qualifier who will play Hachanov so a bit of an interesting section here we got Hachanov Jarry and Sinner as well as Thompson and you know what I could see Jarry or Hachanov causing some serious trouble for Yannick Sinner but we'll see here we go so second section Dimitrov will either face Hanfman or the up-and-coming youngster Jakub Menchik yes got the name right I was making sure. <laughs> Watch out for Menchik, even though I do believe he is better in the hard courts. But Madrid is a fast surface, high altitude, so watch out for him. You know what? You never know. Felix Alger Alisame will play Nishioka in the first round. Winner will face Manorino. Mikkelsen will face the wild card Fonesca. Winner will play Nori. Zhang and Kecmanovic will play each other. Winner will face Kasper Ruud, the winner of the Barcelona Open. Another strong section, likely going to be Kasper Ruud versus Dimitrov. That top first round is he got Felix, he got Menchik. Don't be surprised if one of those people can pull it through and cause an upset. Lower down, we go into section theory, which Medvedev highlights or headlines and he'll be facing either O'Connell or Analdi. Lower down, Medvedev could face Korda, but Korda will have to first play either Max Purcell or Marcus Giron. I do like Medvedev on this surface, as do I also like Korda. The flat hitters play pretty well in Madrid, as seen by Struff last year, as well as countless other people in the past. It's a faster surface, ball moves faster through the air, and we got lower down Bublik, who, let's be honest, even though the faster surface may suit him, He's not that great on clay. I don't think the gap is just too big a gap to bridge. He'll be facing either Kopfer or Cabez Baena. Thomas Mahach will be facing Rusevori. And that winner will face Ben Shelton, who is a bit of a dark horse in my opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ben Shelton making a deep, deep run in this tournament. Alex Dimonor will face either the wild card, Blanche, or... I don't know if you've heard of this guy. He has a protected ranking. His name is Rafael Nadal. He's won his tournament like five times. A potential rematch from last week. And after that, you never know. Nadal's path could see him versing Dimonor, Tiafo, and perhaps even Sitsipas. We'll see. But it's a tough, tough draw for Nadal, as it is going to be when you're an unseeded player. Lower down, we have Lehechka versing either a qualifier. Lehechka playing a qualifier and potentially versus Sitsipas. If Sitsipas can get through a rematch of the Lajevic match, who Lajevic really pushed him in the semi-final of the Barcelona Open. Going to the bottom half, we have Hercatch, who will face either a qualifier or Jack Draper. Arthur Thiels will be facing either Daniel Artmeyer or the wildcard, Landalus. Sebastian Bayers will be versing either the wildcard, Zizou Bergs or Luca Van Aschi. And Taylor Fritz will be playing either Dadari or Monfiers. Monfiers always dangerous in Madrid. Watch out for him. But I do see her catch making it out of this section purely because of that faster pace on the Madrid courts. Moving down into section six, Tommy Paul will be facing a qualifier as Sorondolo will be playing either Karatsev or Morosian, who has been in pretty good form as of late. Morosian will be facing a player on the comeback trail following a nasty injury to start the season in Karatsev, but I can see Morosian making the fourth round here, which he will likely face Zvedev, who will be facing Borna Choric or a qualifier. Borna Choric is not all too good on clay courts. However, Echeverry, Shapovalov, or Diaz Acosta, they're all pretty good players on clay, and that could be a tough test for Zvedev. Moving on to section seven, we have Rublev, who'll be facing Dan Evans, who apparently is on the retirement tour. That's a bit of an interesting news story as of late. He'll be taking on a qualifier. The Spaniard, Davidovich Fikina, will be facing either Shang or a qualifier. Talon Greg Spall will be playing either Vukic or Daniel. Paul Garuna will be playing either Alexi Popperin or Navoni. In this section, I do like Paul Garuna or David Shvikina. Paul Garuna coming off a bit of an illness, according to his mum, but we'll see if that's really affecting him this week. Umber, who I do like, will be facing either Van der Zanschulp or Chris Eubanks. Nuno Borge will be playing the defending runner-up, Struth, who just won in Munich last week, or Muna. I have to back Struth in this little part, this little section here, so I'll back him to make at least the fourth round, in which he will likely face Carlos Alcaraz, who has to get through either Rindanek or Shevchenko, and probably after that, Musetti, who will have to face either Safudian or Sebo Wild, and it's a 
matchup of these two youngsters, but Alcaraz just keeps getting the better of him in recent times. Alcaraz is the favorite for this tournament, but he's coming off an injury setback in which he hasn't played since Miami, where he did lose to Grigor Dimitrov. So watch out for Alcaraz here. But looking at this section, I do see Alcaraz making it through and just having a rough look at the straw. If he does make it through, I see him playing Dimitrovich Fikina in the quarterfinals, in which I do see Zvedev making it through, where he will likely face in my opinion, Alexander Zvedev or Hubert Hercatch, and it will be Zvedev. Moving up, I do see Zvedev beating Carlos Alcaraz as a preliminary call just based on the fact that he's coming off the injury and we'll see. So Zvedev in the final for me will face Sitsipas in the quarterfinal, Shelton in the quarterfinal. I have Ben Shelton making a semifinal in which he will face either Kasper Ruud or Yannick Sinner. I do see Ben Shelton making the final. I see a Ben Shelton versus Alexander Zvedev final to see who is crowned the Madrid 2024 Open champion. A bit of a big call, a tough call. I'm predicting that what? A 14th seed who's playing his first clay court tournament of the year, in Europe that is, is going to make the final. But you know what? I'm going to make a big call. I'm going to put my reputation on the line. <laughs> and I'll say we'll have two big servers in the final in what is a faster clay surface. Let me know in the comments down below, who do you believe will make the final? Who do you believe will win each section? How far will Nadal go? And that's all I think. So until next time.